from the EA Sports Maui Invitational. It's our third place game, Gonzaga against Kentucky. And as we take a look at Star Watch for the Wildcats, Mark Lee's Estel, 26 points in the tournament. Coach Tubby Smith calls him one of the most talented offensive players he's ever coached. For the Zags, Blake Stepp. Well, he had a big game yesterday, very hot in Gonzaga's comeback effort against Indiana that fell just short. He can certainly fire it up there, and he's averaging 14 and a half in the tournament. Barber double team. Mark Cleese with a lot of action around the. <laughs> Underneath the pitch, who laid it in? Pretty low. Barber, nice penetration. We've seen him use the dribble. A nice rag outside by Brooks. Barber dribbles into the paint. Pretty play again. How about that? Creative. Jay, that really. Uh, trying to fight in the post. The problem he's had are picking up a lot of cheap ones. Nickel dimers, as you call them. Small change. And Hayes with a great front. That's a three for Bogans. There's the guy. He gets on fire. It really lifts everybody's spirit. Three straight days of excellent competition. That'll get you ready for the season in the SEC. Curry up blocks. And a Kamara, now Bogans. Shot clock is six. Kamara has to shoot it. Terrific play by Bogans, don't you think? Yes. Split the defender. Has Gearing through the white shirt, but nothing there. Too much perimeter right now. Nothing going out the chain. There you go. As a good let's fly. Just good use of the bounce by Fitch. He hit it through. Shot clock at seven. Fitch kept on coming. Missed it. Rebounded up and in by Azubuki. That's just been in the right place. Less than eight minutes to play in the half. Stripped away. Andrews coming down to the last second shot. It's Step to not hit. Pete Gillen's back in his room working on his sweating. <laughs> Does he really need to work <laughs> on that? That comes easily. Once again, cutting. They're doing a nice job. Cut. That's Hayes scooping. Missing. Tip to Bogan. But they are finding people. Oh, oh it's Bob Hayes for two. Just didn't regroup in the timeout by Mark Few. Blake Step at the two. You see back in here, nobody at home. No reaction whatsoever. Everybody overloading. He gets it to the correct individual. Barber free to shoot. At least for a second, Fox jumped out. And then he went inside. And avoiding then a step trying to pick up the charge. Good body control. Off the glass. Sorry, off went down again there. Hayes is really hurt and coming back. Last one down. Good cover by Violet. Cote unloads from the corner. That's three points. He hasn't been able to do much in the lane. Moves his game deep. And back iron. Bogus off the feet from Fitch. A step back to a very smart play. No problem. Especially with these two teams. I don't think you're going to see either one of these teams play this much zone for the rest of the season. Pretty. Shot the foul up and in. That's the guy, Kentucky guard. That was not a, a great shot by Blake Steph, but eight of 15 from three. They're still you know, doing some damage from behind that arm. Into the back door for Bogan. Great cut, and Brooks did a great job on fit. Hayes flips it out. Pretty good pass for Finch. And he got the roll. He sure did. Soft enough. And they lead by three. Tapped away by Hayes. Fitch on the run. Great control, don't you think? He had the option, but I think he did the right thing. Couldn't get a screen, but Turioff is low. With one second left, he got that shot off. Oh, what a great look. Bogan's flexing out of the field. Terrific, and he hurt himself a little bit. He was going to go up high. He's wincing as he came back. So he had a nice step and go. Guards Kamara. Bogans tried to pass off. Hayes got it anyway. And spins in. That's quick. Wasn't that gorgeous? Drop step. You use your back. 20 in the nation. And that's tonight on ESPN. Join us for the title game from Maui. Hayes drops it in. I'm shooting it. He didn't make shots early. Now he got some around the rim. Makes the jump. Kamara. Pass to Estel. Great job. Great execution. But oh, you just a little slip to the rim. Hold your guy off. The pass comes to the proper hand. Just go up strong and finish. New zone on the inbounds. 
Nice game. Nice shot. You're right. I still again. You've watched a few games. <laughs> Do they look tired, the Zags? I mean, all of a sudden, they're not the same reaction. They go inside. They look a little bit tired, but it looks like they've lost some of the Pitch gets inside. Camaro with a turnaround. Quick. Got it back. Golden spots up. Camaro. It's all his play. Great speed to the miss. One Esco there again. Last trip down defensively. He blocked a shot. There's Camaro. Nice paces. Azubuki. Just relaxed, didn't do anything silly, and then the fill right by the rim. And how about the outlander that form? Azubuki with a fadeaway. They're hitting everything. They sure are. Well, that's going to be the. Barber, there's Estel. With two men around him. Fitch. Got it! Wow, nice Boy. give back. Big shot, three point or two. Mark, please. Nearly lost the ball. Bogans will fire it up. It rimmed out. Tipto and Kamara there. That's unfortunate for the Zags. They did a good job. Didn't squeeze it. If doesn't come up with this, Jay, and you may be right. Let's take a look at it here. Uh, I don't know. Little combination, maybe, but good effort. Didn't put the clock on. Just finally put it on. Shot clock, that is. Kamara, quick dish. Estel there with the foul. Jay, we talked about their passing. How about the catch? But that was a tough one to handle. In traffic as well. And you can see having the Kamara and Esco very effective. There's got to be a lot more pressure on the ball when he gets that pass. Well, you notice who had a cover, too, because of the matching up was Step down there on the big guy. And that's just... 6.5 on the clock. Kentucky ball. Big thing late. You do not want to say, here's the double up. They and foul Kamara. I'd say that's an interesting decision, you know, stretch the game, can't argue with it. It was Toriyoff, he stepped out to five. Off the line. The first guy I saw do this was John Cheney. I don't know if you recall that, Jay. And he makes the front end. Nine points for Jules Kamara. The 6'11 senior from Senegal. He suffered a broken right hand in September during drills, and his hand was in a cast. He missed most of the preseason. And another time. And they are ready for the press. They are. We're going to give it. Bogans is fouled. He will shoot. 74-70. Tate it over to pick up Roni Turia. That's great basketball. And if Turia's man uh, doesn't come over, Steph goes all the way to the rim. Bogans hits the first foul shot. So five-point lead for the Cats. Gonzaga has two timeouts left. Kentucky one. Defensively coordinated on offense. Somehow they've got to force the Zags to take a little bit of time. When they go zone. Steps over pitch. Rebounded by Hayes, and he outlets it. They got out of there with it. It's Bogans in. Now, you know what I don't like about that? You got Fitch in front of you. To Harmony J, give it up, right? If you can, but... <laughs> it was pretty stuff. Stepped into the paint, lays it in. But time running out on the Zags. And Kentucky will come out of Maui with a couple of wins. They will knock off number 21, Gonzaga. And that's your final score. Kentucky 80 and Gonzaga 72. Coming up next, the Owens Corning NIT, Stanford and Florida. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. For Jay and Bill, I'm Dave O'Brien. Let's go to the studio. And